Okay, here's your car. I want to point out what I've found so far. Um, <laughs> this is fun. Down, way down deep inside there. Um, you really can't get to it, but all along underneath that huge, that manifold assembly, there's probably anywhere from five to seven dead mice. And also there's a huge uh, mouse nest in there of, of stuffing or insulation that uh, is a fire hazard. So I need to get all of that out of there. That'll kind of be fun because um, there's really no good way of getting down there. So I'm, I'm going to have to take the mice out. The only way I can, the only thing I can think of is having a, a small metal tube like a uh, something about as big as transmission cooler line attached to a shop vac and and trying to to suck them out in pieces um i also found a few mice stuffed in little cubby holes in the suspension and whatnot but the those don't concern me too as much as the the uh all of the stuffing um that is sitting on top of the engine that could get hot and catch on fire which also reminds me, I want to look into wherever your blower motor resistor is in the heating system. Because if there's a mouse nest in there, which is a common place, it could get, uh, the uh, blower motor resistor could get hot enough to catch that on fire. So I, I do want to tear into your um, heating system a little bit. All right. Oh, well, here, by the way, here's your brand new pretty black uh, hood insulation, but then when you look at the one that's in the top part of the hood, it makes it makes it look all that much worse. That pretty new black stuff, and then the old worn out crumbly stuff. But anyway, all right, so now we're gonna go underneath the car. <sighs> this is the uh, front edge of the oil pan, and you've got an oil leak there. Um, I really believe it is the front main seal. So good news there. <coughs> Not really bad. That's bad news. Um, we are on the passenger side of the engine, on the front part of the engine. Um, you can, this is the uh, air conditioning compressor for reference. There are some drops of antifreeze. There's a drop. There's a drop. There's a drop. And then also, these bolts have antifreeze hanging off of them don't know where that's coming from because it everything <laughs> leave it to germans to figure out how to p put 10 pounds of shit in a five pound box because it is tight in there um but yeah so I'm, I'm concerned about these antifreeze drips the uh oil leak i'm almost positive is coming from the front main seal and so Oil's leaking on the front of the engine, and then as you're driving, it's all being blown towards the back of the engine. So all of this, this cross member, your sway bar, everything's covered with oil from the front back. But as wet as everything is back here, this is where your flywheel is. Um, with everything as wet as what it is back here, I bet the rear main seal is leaking as well. Um, that's going to be a call you got to make about what you want to do about that because I don't know if the transmission has to come out with the engine. Um, it, it's everything's just really, really packed in here, so I don't don't really know how bad it would be to to do the uh, rear main on this car. The the front main, of course, is going to be a pain in the ass because it's German. Um, but the front main at least might be doable. Um, you won't be able to see farther back there, but on the um, part of the... Let's see if I can get some light there. Part of the exhaust pipe as it... The exhaust pipe runs straight back and then turns towards the driver's side. And you can see the front of that thing is brown because that's got... It's getting engine oil blown onto it. And it's cooking. Um, so I'm wondering if, I, I, I don't know, maybe that's where your smoke fumes or your, your oil smoke is coming from is being dripped on your exhaust pipe. And when you're under hard acceleration, the exhaust pipe is getting hot 
and then starting to, to burn that oil off where normally it's not hot enough to, to really make it burn. Um, it's just a theory because you were saying that under heavy acceleration you, you get some smoke or some fumes or something. But uh, the gaskets, the, the oil pan gasket, to me, doesn't look like that's where your leak is coming from. It looks like the front main over here. You'll, you'll notice the, the driver's side of the oil pan is dry and the passenger side of the oil pan is, is wet. And, and if the uh, if your harmonic balancer makes a uh, clockwise rotation, that would ex make sense because it's slinging the oil uh, that way. So at the very least, I think the front main very possibly the rear main and then I've got a coolant leak that um, I've got these drips on the front well, the, the forward portion of the passenger side of the engine has, has got some antifreeze drips hanging off of bolts and the bottom of the oil pan that I'm concerned about and of course I can't see anything uh, so that's what I wanted to give you uh, give you some sort of update of what we're looking at and we'll, we'll talk on the phone or in the email later. Bye.